month in into the NBA season, over a month in into the NBA season, roughly. So we're here with the NBA tiers, uh, tier list, or however you want to call it. It's probably just a tier list, but it's got some cool names, essentially, inspired by First Things First. And I'm here to give my opinions about the NBA teams and their, you know, positions in the league after a, about a month. So we got obviously the Wembanyama watch, the Wemby watch, and the teams are obvious there: the Houston Rockets, Charlotte Hornets, Pistons, Spurs, Magic, and the Lakers. Which obviously the pick is going to the Pelicans. Right now it's looking like this: the Lakers. I believe could maybe get a little higher in the tiers, but that we'll, we'll see after the next month. But right now they're in the Wemby watch. They, then I have the should blow it up section, as that's the Bulls, the Nets to me. The Bulls should blow it up, but they won't. They don't have their draft pick. They are not going anywhere. They're now 6 and 10, and they are just uh, looking like a team without... Uh, good direction right now and are probably gonna be mediocre for the coming years and maybe it would be better to blow it up i'm not sure the nets for me should blow it up just because i just don't trust any of their players except for kd i guess but they once again could fall for not fall could get up in the tiers during the next month but as of right now i would still think they should blow it up even though they're now seven and nine and are looking better with Kyrie coming back tonight the making the day i made these videos so there's that then i have the next tier as there are the next there just the next. They're fine. They're, that, that's it. Then I have the tier of... The, these teams are fun, but will probably fall off a little bit. I have the Kings. They are really fun. They're a good offense. And I would have done some different tier for them. Like, I believe they, they will be in the playoffs. I believe in that. But I don't think they'll, you know, be this historic of offense throughout the season maybe they will they could keep it up but i believe they will probably fall off the same with the portland trailblazers who are already getting kind of nicked up with injuries and are losing a bit of a steam but the team is good and they could also not fall off but this, these are just my opinions obviously i'm not predicting you know i'm um not like wishing on these, these teams downfall but that's just my feeling about them the same with the utah jazz but uh like i said they uh, as of right now i would picture them in the playoffs maybe so not maybe probably so uh you know i believe they will fall off but the fall off means they will fall off a little bit they are the number one seed right now and i'm not saying they will fall off like completely but um a little bit of a fall off is expected the same with the pacers they have a they had an easier schedule they are now nine and six They'll probably, you know, fall off in this next month, but who knows, they could keep it up and could be a, you know, playoff team. I would love to see that because I like the Pacers, I like what they have, but I don't think, I don't believe it's sustainable as of right now. The same with Thunder, they're hanging around 500, I believe they'll, you know, their record will fall off completely during this next month, as long as Shea doesn't put up even more ridiculous numbers throughout the whole month. And the same goes with the Wizards, they're essentially the Pacers but probably more you know talented with names you know Bradley Beal, Tyrese Halliburton comparison not like they're the same player but you know what I'm saying Master to Porzingis, Kal Kuzma to yeah and there you go Benedict Matherin I guess it's about it's like uh, you know the same kind of tier for me then we get to the get it together tier where I have my warriors who have to get it together 7 and 9 throughout uh, as of filming right now they're looking uh, meh the last game against the Knicks was highly encouraging especially as we now know they had the team meeting but they have to get it together this next month they have to get it together the West is still wide open there no, no team has really taken off so they need to get it together and get back into contention for the higher seats the same with the Timberwolves, they are still not looking really good, but they are, they are now 8-8 eight and eight as of right now as I'm filming this video, and they could 100% get it together even more, with more reps, hopefully some better chemistry, we'll see, we'll see, but 
I, I trust the Warriors to get it together. I'm not sure I trust the T-Wolves to get it together. Then I have to get healthy tier list. As we have the Sixers, who now lost Iris Maxi. He'll be out probably for the next month. Then we have the uh, James Harden injury. He should come back during this next month or so. Uh, you know, next month. During this uh, about a month. Uh, I'm not sure how long his timetable was, but he should be back by the time I make the next tier list video. The Grizzlies need to get healthy. They lost Ja and Desmond Bain, their two best players. Or, you know, debatedly, their two best players. You could argue Jaron Jackson is more important as he got now healthy. They need to get healthy, obviously. The Miami Heat, they're missing Bam, Jimmy Butler. They're, all their players are a little nicked up. And they need to get healthy so they can, you know, get it, essentially get it together. I would put them in get it together if they were healthy, but they are not, so it's get healthy. The same goes with the Raptors. They're missing some players, obviously, and they are around there as the Clippers get healthy. Once again, they are now 10 sevens. Uh, Kawhi obviously has played some obvious I'm keeping for obviously for fuck's sake Kawhi has been back now for a few games he has to play stay consistently healthy this this next month for them to get in the mix to me and the Cavs have been in and out the lineups with Darius Garland Mitchell was out for some games Jared Allen was out some games only Evan Mobley has really played uh, the you know the most of the Cavs and they are now about, uh, you know, they, I believe they will be in the mix, but as of right now, they need to get fully healthy and get the chemistry going. Then I have the will be in the mix teams, as I have the Hawks, who are obviously pretty good. They've started nine, they are now 10 and 6, if I, you know, if I'm correct. They are around third in the Eastern Conference. They've been about what I expected. The coaching has to be a little better. Nate McMillan needs to be a little more creative, probably with his uh, rotations, with his you know game management sometimes to me. But Trey and Dejante have been working pretty well together, even though they've both not been you know shooting as efficiently as you would you would you like. Especially Trey Young, who's been really struggling throughout the first month of the season shooting wise but they will they were winning still and they got a lot of rooms to improve with john collins also probably can get better and they will be in the mix i believe so then we have the pals who one one thing could have been in the get healthy category but i'm putting them it will be in the mix category because i believe in them but it's really on the edge between get healthy and will be in the mix then we have the maths who are in the mix because of luca and maybe I should have just done the different tier between the get healthy and will be in the mixed tier as a Luca tier, because without Luca they would obviously be nowhere. Luca is the MVP favorite with Jason Tatum for me. They're about neck and neck for me. Tatum has been a little worse these last few games. Luca has been a little better. They're one A, one B. You can, you know, pick whoever you want. I would not be mad at you. Then we have the Suns. I don't trust the Suns, but they will be in the mix. And they are obviously uh missing Chris Paul also you could put them in some get healthy categories they're missing Chris Paul they're missing Cam Johnson but I trust them to be in the mix and I don't believe these are as huge injuries as the teams below them have and then the Nuggets they need to get healthy also but they are you know health protocols are something different than the injuries the get healthy teams have as J J Joe Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray have been missing some games due to that but they will be in the mix as long as they are healthy also, obviously. And we've seen a lot of good things for them. Michael Porter Jr. has been great. Jokic has been uh, incredible also, even though it's kind of, you know, been a different Jokic than we've seen the last few seasons. Jamal Murray has been getting more into shape. Aaron Gordon has been good. Uh, also, they have a really good bench play from Bruce Brown. Kente was Conwell Pope has been one hell of a shooter. A lot of things to be excited about. They will be in the mix. But there are two clear title favorites right now. The two best teams in the league. The Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks, even though they've been also not quite healthy as you would like. Giannis missed some time. Drew missed some time. Chris Milton is still not back. They need to get healthy also. But they still look like the title favorites and the best team in the league. Next to the Celtics. As they are 11-4. and four. Giannis has been MVP level. Obviously the last few games are kind of uh, anomaly where he has not been as great Brook Lopez has been a defensive player of the year 
candidate, maybe the leading candidate. To me, he's up there 100%. They bench has been great. The rookie Beauchamp has been also really solid. And they just have a different aura about them. And the same goes for the Celtics, who are the best team in the league. Now on a nine-game minute streak, 13 and 3. Their offense is unstoppable. Their defense is looking still really good. We know they can turn it up on defense. Their offense is looking just so good. They picked up some houses somewhere off the street. He's been ma- making threes like a demon. Jason Tatum has been MVP favorite, as I said. His defense has been impeccable. Jalen Brown has been contributing really well. Malcolm Brogdon, even though he's also been a little in and out the lineup and a little inconsistent, has been a great addition so far. Marcus Smart is still defending at a high level. They just look the best right now as of month, one month in. And this will be it for my NBA tiers v- about a month in, over a month in a little bit. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know who I got right, who I got wrong. I'll probably get slack for Blazers and the Jazz. I could put the Blazers somewhere up the Jazz. Maybe, you know, could have created some different tier for them. But this is my thought right now, my opinions right now. Let me know yours. Like and subscribe. Catch you all next time.